The question is, can an old laptop running Vista with a single core Celeron M processor from that time period with only two gigabytes of RAM, and there's the specs, very, very old, upgraded to two gigabytes of RAM, can it actually do anything with YouTube? Well, let me tell you, it's torture, but I do have my page up here and it does scroll by very slowly. And here's the, the test. Can it run video at all with just a single processor? Let's find out. Oh, a lot of buffering, a lot of slowness. Hey, everybody. Oh, here you sound. We're back with a little bit of a different kind of video. We're going to talk about a cult movie called Killdozer. That's a cult movie. Well, I don't know. It's hard to define exactly. But really what it is to me is a movie that seems to hold on beyond its expected life. And Killdozer was one of Yeah, as soon as I get involved with moving it around or doing anything with it, it is not going to work. So, yeah, for YouTube, this is really not going to ever make it. Not gonna do it. Okay, so. As I oh, and it came work, back. It came sense. back to life. I started to understand. Yeah, as soon as I as soon as I interact with it at all, it sort of just buffers. Spin spinning clock. So can it do YouTube? No, <laughs> it certainly can't do YouTube. Are you crazy? YouTube isn't going to run on a system like this. I mean, it's a miracle that I can even get my page up here, log into YouTube, and hear it's anything. See? And so. Some of the reasons why it so there you go. In my Does it work? So no. Let's but get into this with a <laughs> bit of it does struggle. It does try hard. Just uh, as a little. Shout out to the Supermium project. This is what I'm actually running on this thing. And, you know, for old laptops, it actually does pretty good, you know? I'm actually quite impressed that it actually um, runs anything. It, I mean, other browsers I've tried don't let me into YouTube at all. So this one at least does. And I mean, like I said, this thing doesn't run well. And this is a tiny little video picture, but the fact that I'm getting any kind of video playback on a, like I said, this is a, this is a Celeron M processor. And this is ancient, this is an old, old laptop. So the fact that I'm getting anything out of this, I'm pretty happy with, um, that I can actually get something playing on it you know it's pretty cool so let's just do a quick rundown of the system since I've gone to this trouble of getting it all set up I don't know if I'm going to get around to doing another video anytime soon but as we can see we'll look at the front grill here this is this is a um That's an the Acer to kill dozer. I think I can shut this off I think we've tor tortured it enough <clears throat> and I think we'll just do we want to put this thing through any more pain no I'll just shut her down look at the CPU I wonder <laughs> it's attacked <laughs> anyway sorry about that I'm just di diverging here 
This is going to be one of those videos. So as, you sh as I showed you, this is the sort of the original rundown of this system. It only had two, 512 megabytes of DDR2 RAM. So you can get the idea of what, what era this is from. So this is really XP and, you know, Vista introduction and failure period. And eventually it did, you know, uh, Vista did end and Windows 7 came along and that was the end of Vista. <clears throat> But it did allow for older machines like this to survive a lot longer and be very usable. Uh, is it usable today? It's usable for things I like to do with it. Is it a gaming machine? No. Is it, um, is it a video playing machine? No. But the fact that it even can do that is pretty impressive to me. But anyhow, <clears throat> for Supermium, your best bet is to get at least a dual core system. But anyhow, um, Back to the machine. So this is the front grill area. It does say that it has Bluetooth, but it isn't. It isn't. There isn't um, a, a Bluetooth uh, little nick or whatever in this thing. And I'll show you. You can see that when I push this. Let's see if I can get it. You know, see, no device. So it has like a little Bluetooth switch, but no, no Bluetooth built into it. I believe this was sort of a budget machine. But it does have Wi-Fi, and obviously it works. Um, it's got some good audio there. And a couple of front-facing speakers there. And as you could hear, that wasn't terrible. You could hear it. You know, it's not a stereo. You've got your DVD, ROM, and CD. So, you know, it's not, you're not going to be burning DVDs with this thing, but you can play... DVDs, or you can play, you know, you can access software that comes on a DVD from back in the day. The interesting thing about this guy is look at the shape of that keyboard. The time when Acer decided to be different and kind of and kind of do like a, a like a sweep um, of keys. They're kind of angled like this. I guess the idea is your, your hand sits like this, not like this. So it kind of helps when you're typing. I don't know. I don't find it's better one way or the other. Um, but it was something Acer did. And at least Acer, one thing about them, they were very, you know, they went their own way with it. They actually tried to be different. So that was cool. It has VGA. It has... Uh, uh, this video it has the old express card and all that. Uh, it has a, you can barely tell, but it does have a um, card reader in there. So, you know, better than a lot of like XP machines of the time. And then it has all these little buttons for different things. So, what does this do? Oh, it brings out that. Oh, you know, it brings up this. Oh, it tells me I got a Wi-Fi thing going on and battery charge. Okay, so it has some buttons that do things. It does have this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call this thing. It's like their little version of like a little access point. So you got internet is connected, your battery is fully charged. You can, your resolution, and you, and I think you can adjust for if you are doing a presentation. So a quick access to that. A couple of security things I haven't set up. And this little thing called uptime, system uptime, which tells you how long the, the, the laptop's been running, which has been running for about a half hour because I've been fooling around trying to get the browser going and uh, finding a proper plug for it because it wasn't charging, or not plug, but adapter. This is what comes up when you access the empowering technology settings manager. And here we get kind of the rundown of the system. So we can see it's a travel mate, a 2480. It's running Vista Ultimate. It has this type of crappy chipset graphics stuff. It has a Celeron M430 with, with two gigabytes of RAM. It's running a spinning Western digital hard drive. 
it's got that type of burner it's got this kind of video it's not very good but it's you know getting the job done the video has 224 megabytes of ram it has the old high definition audio which is very common it has a yukon marble yukon um ethernet card it has a what uh, Broadcom wire, um, sorry, this is a, the Yukon, I believe is the, um, Ethernet card, and this is the Wi-Fi card, Broadcom, and what else is this stuff, and a bunch of crap we don't know what he cares about, so there you go, guys, there's the system summary, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things I noticed is kind of cool is it has you want to set a password for your your bios you can do it from this little thing here you don't have to go into the bios which is kind of interesting don't see that too often and it has some boot options so that's not common for you for you to be able to set up your boot options and your and a few of your bios options from a interface within your laptop i think that's pretty interesting and actually quite useful and then it kind of goes into like this is almost like um a lot of your your system tools that you would install in this thing it just comes with them so it kind of gives you a rundown of your memory maximum memory you know you could put in here and uh, motherboard specs video audio and probably stuff on the network i'm not going to show you but you know you get the idea so it's actually pretty I think it's pretty cool. Like they, they, they actually gave you all these tools. And if you don't like it sitting there, you can just hide it away. So I think it's a nice little, nice little extra for, for you know, system. It isn't junkware. Let's put it that way. It actually has some functionality. It isn't, you know, it's nothing right home about that special. But you know, it, it is what it is. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's going to be my initial video, I think. 12 minutes is enough for this thing. Um, not really doing a whole lot, this, this one, but uh, eh, it's cool. I like it. It's using, eh, using about, what is that? Not even half of its, its uh, memory. So, you know, for this type of a system, you can do pretty much uh, all, I do all, all the kinds of stuff on it and I can take it to, uh, I can take it to a coffee shop and I can actually work there pretty good because it has Wi-Fi, so I can access a lot of things. Um, I don't obviously play videos, but, or YouTube, I got my phone if I want to do that. But if I do need to access a few things, um, on the net, I can, um, and it's in great shape like you can tell the keyboard although slightly dirty i see but uh yeah it's it's in great shape there's no wear no real wear on the keyboard and even this thing isn't too bad either no nope, i don't see wear on it nothing here this is usually worn to death this is kind of cool this is if you this is like for scrolling so if you're in a web page and you want to scroll it down or scroll it up this is what this thing's for so that's obviously a acer approach to giving you a scroll wheel kind of um, and it goes side to side too as well so if you're in a big web page and you want to go this way or that way you can so that's pretty cool that way um so there you go guys that's 15 minutes too much um hope you're having a good weekend uh it's raining here in vancouver like cats and dogs are coming down out of the sky so i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do today just getting going but uh and it's like 11 30 no 11 50 and i'm just getting going <laughs> kind of sad right do i want to chat about something sure let's chat about something to end this video off because probably by this point most people have tuned out so yeah so i don't know i'm just i figured i'd do another video because i looked at it, it's been like five videos before since i've done a computer video and i know there's a certain group of people who like computer videos i can tell you that 
I can tell you by the numbers, that's the most popular. But I've been thinking a lot about, like, you know, I don't like chasing views. I hate that attitude. I hate I hate the idea that YouTube is really, they're, they kind of, have, I don't know, they've, I feel like they've made it so that unless you are kind of just following their formula and they want you to follow their formula because they want to sell ads, they don't, there's not a lot of originality and people are, you know, they have to have, okay, you start with, you know, they have this like, oh, inspiration. So it's basically a template for, okay, how do you get views? Well, here's a bunch of things that get views, so copy it, right? And then the other thing is, it's like, okay, start with a thumbnail and, and like make a face on the thumbnail, like you just discovered uranium, okay? And, and just make that face like, wow, you know, and oh my God. And then, so that'll, that's another thing. So that's the click, clickbait grabber thing. And then come up with some clickbaity comment, you know, to put in the, in the, in your, uh, caption. Like, oh, I, I can run YouTube perfectly on this computer, you know, and then have a clip, a clip. And then obviously that's bullshit. And then, you know, go, oh, look at this. And then like doctor it up as much as you possibly can and make it look like it can run YouTube and it doesn't. And then, okay, great. And then you get a million views and then, you know, you're off to the races, right? I don't know. Is there something called integrity out there? Well, that's my rant. Um, anyway, for those who watch my videos, thank you. You know, you can subscribe, you can like, you can comment. I, I kind of enjoy that sort of thing, people commenting. I appreciate uh, uh, the utmost geek uh, shouting out my channel, and I uh, certainly am enjoying his videos. Check him out. Um, he's he makes stuff that I would make. You know, he he kind of like does my brand of videos. I like them so. Um, my stuff is like old old stuff, old old computers and. Uh, his, the advantage of watching his videos are if you like gaming, you're going to get gaming tests and stuff like that. So check his videos out. He probably, you might like his stuff better. <laughs> but anyway, my, I just do my, I just rotate around. I just kind of do this thing creatively as an outlet to, I don't know, to just do some stuff. Anyway, guys, that's it. It's going to be my video. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.